It's all well and good to lock yourself away to focus on a problem. But often, difficult tasks are better solved by collaboration. So when we team up, we can often find solutions to problems that we otherwise might have missed. And by pairing, our code is being reviewed as we go. Um, yeah, I love pair programming. Coding's one of those things that's fun but hard. When the computer's doing what you want it to do, oh, it's magic and pixie dust and rainbows, like the master of the machine, you know? But then when there is some obscure bug, you just can't wrap your head around something or you can't squeeze two bits together, it's just so painful. So pair programming is getting that buddy on board. It means that um, you're problem solving together. Can't stop. Pair programming, valuable. Um, I've done pair programming on a couple of, you know, really big projects that were incredibly invaluable to me. I pair programmed with uh, Jose Valim. He and I pair programming via Skype with him in the Netherlands and myself in Sydney, rewrote Action Mailer over a two week period in the evenings, about one or two hours a night, and we just banged it out. And that was really valuable because I had all the knowledge of how the email library worked, and he had a lot of knowledge on how the, um, the Rails stack worked. So um, we could just sort of leverage each other and ask questions and it got done really quickly. I've done it before, I've done it face to face, I've done it remotely with people in other countries. Um, I do love it, I just don't believe in it as full time. Um, the reason why is um, sometimes the things that I do better by myself, whereas, and sometimes there's things that you do better as a pair. Talking through your ideas, uh, communicating with another person brings up a much better code in the end. But the thing to remember with fair programming is that, like with good communication skills, is to decide before you start about certain rules. I've, I've used pair programming a little bit. I find it very successful for people that, that can pair program. But I can't have sustained time coding with someone because I need to think and I need to do my coding. I was personally never a great pair programmer, but I know a lot of people that are. People that think out loud, people that, that just sort of talk through problems rather than silently thinking about them. At Atlassian, we actually set aside a room, we called it the echo chamber because we had two computers that had the same uh, screen and everything, and that way you could do pair programming. <laughs> It's a great, uh, again, learning opportunity. It's a great way for people to, to transfer knowledge. They might be transferring knowledge about the system. They might be transferring knowledge about our craft of, of engineering. If we can build those opportunities for people to learn, then that's a wonderful thing. And pair programming is a really good way of doing that. I mean, almost competitive in a sense where you, 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 know, you, you want to take a break and the other person's like, no, let's push on, let's keep going, which is why it can be so draining as well. Many would say that pair programming is not practical all the time. And I must say, I do agree with that. But one thing that is absolutely foundational to any good software team is the code review. Peer review is invaluable. You know, it, it is a rule at Reinteractive. The code doesn't get to the client unless someone else has looked at it. And we have to do that, you know. Aside from security implications, it's much harder to to put a backdoor in on something if someone else has to look at it. I mean, there's that as well, right? If you get that second set of eyes, you catch so many more bugs. I don't know how many, you know, nil checks or something someone said to me, oh, what happens if that object's nil? And I went, oh yeah, good point, fix. We use uh, pull requests as code reviews and I wouldn't do it any other way now. Thanks, so that every piece of code is looked at by, by more than one person. If it's anything that's going live on the site that's public facing, we get one other person to look at it. And with the pull request workflow, it costs you a lot less time to catch it in the pull request than it does to push it live, find out it's broken, get everybody to scramble and fix it. Save yourself one of those and you've, you've more than made up for the fact that you've got an entire team doing, doing code reviews. I've never said to a team, you must pair program. You know, this is the way we're going to do things because uh, there's all different personality types. And for some people, it's just not going to work. It's, you know, it's uncomfortable or it's unsustainable. You might be able to do it for you know, an introvert like myself. I can do it for a day or two. We come up with great results. But I couldn't do that every day because I need my I need my headspace. I need to recharge, so to speak. Uh, I wouldn't force people to, to work in that way. But when you do do it, uh, it can be really, really productive. Oh!